Hello guys and welcome to the very first movie review by Akimael Productions. You may be asking yourself, why is this Puerto Rican dude screaming at me? It's because I got a great movie to review. Suicide Squad, directed by David Ayer, is one hell of a movie. Hallelujah. We've been waiting for DC to show us a very good movie and we've been disappointed time after time. Even though I myself, I love Man of Steel, but the public is very much divided when it comes to Man of Steel and when it comes to Batman v Superman, which I don't even want to talk about. So let's talk Suicide Squad. This film stars Will Smith, Margot Robbie, uh, Joel Kinnaman, and a whole bunch of other actors who are just fantastic in this film and I'll talk about that more in just a second. Suicide Squad takes place in the DC Universe where Man of Steel and Batman v Superman all exist. It takes place right after Batman v Superman and we see some of the re repercussions of that you know event in the Batman v Superman movie uh, play out throughout the Suicide Squad film. This film is basically the government rounding up some really really bad people in order to obligate them to do some actually heroic stuff. The great thing about this movie is that you don't know what is more evil, the good guys or the actual bad guys. But I will say no spoilers, I, I, I don't want to dive too much into the, the plot and the details about this movie, so I'm just gonna go ahead and review it the best I can without saying anything that would spoil any single aspect of the movie for you. Now, the film starts off showing us a little bit about each and every character that we're supposed to care about. Each member of the Suicide Squad. Practically no one gets an origin story. And that's great because you only get aspects of their backstories and that only helps to sell their motivation as it pertains to the story. So we're not really diving into origin stories and how they came to be. They already are these people and it works. So basically the first act is introducing us to each and every character in a very peculiar and very cool way. But immediately after that, we jump into a lot of action, a, a roller coaster of so many different things and, and action sequences and, and there's actually some pretty cool emotional baggage and we get a little bit of romance. The film does not stop giving. There, there is no, no time for you to get bored. The film is always moving, always developing the characters and I think that's fantastic. I think they, I think they did a great job with that. I was so fascinated throughout the, the entire movie. I was smiling throughout the entire movie because it's so fun. It plays with these characters that under other circumstances they would, in, they would in no way interact with each other or help each other out but the movie it sort, sort of obligates them into being there and they take it in strides, sort of. You know, they have their issues, of course, but it's so weird that, that so many different characters, the writers, they, they made them so they could sort of fit together in this weird way. It's kind of like when you get two really different tastes and then you blend them together and you're like, what the hell? That actually works. That's just like that. So given that the movie did not let up, it was constantly entertaining, constantly, you know, had my adrenaline on high, very action packed. Uh, I was very interested in these characters because from the beginning, they're a little bit mysterious because no origin story. On entertainment, I give it a 10 out of 10. Now, as it pertains to the plot, I'm very glad that the trailers did not really give all that much into the plot. Basically what I said in this, uh, in the beginning of the video, that they're just bad guys who are forced to be together and do some good. But there's so much more than that. And it's, it's simple in a way, but it's simple in, in a way that works. You know, it's not just there's this bad guy there and let's kick his ass. It's, it's more, there's more, more emotional baggage, especially for one of the characters. It make me like that character a lot more. I honestly think it's the best written uh, film in the DC universe up till this point. And again, I'm saying this as someone who really liked Man of Steel. I'm, you know, 50-50 when it comes to Batman v Superman. But Suicide Squad was a great story. It really was. It felt like a comic book come to life, you know? Not every comic book has an origin story. Not every, char not, not, not every comic book d dives deeply into each and every character. But every character is there for a reason. And that reason can be seen throughout the movie. I would say it's a little predictable, but I would give it a seven out of 10 in plot-wise. Uh, plot I was really expecting these performances to be top-notch and they blew me 
away. Of course we knew Will Smith was going to be amazing because he's amazing in everything. And I, I remember hearing about some people being skeptical that he was going to be a hero or villain and that he was too big for this movie. Bullshit. He was amazing. He kept this movie afloat. Every single scene he was in, he was amazing as he always is. And I am so glad that he was cast as Deadshot. He was perfect. Margot Robbie was amazing too. I really liked her Harley Quinn. I thought I would have issues with her actually, but I did not. I liked her a lot. She, she's a very interesting, complex character. And I cannot wait to see more of her if we do get to see more of her. And I'm really hoping we do. She was great. She was fantastic. I really liked her a lot. And she was very funny, which is very, very curious because I remember like watching Harley Quinn in the, in the animated Batman series and she was very funny too. She was crazy and, you know, psychotic, but she was funny. And, and, and that's a very important aspect to that character, I think. Every other actor was amazing. They all were, even Cara Delevingne, which I was a little bit skeptical about too. She was fantastic. Joel Kinnaman as Rick Flagg was amazing. I've loved that guy ever since I saw him in The Killing. He's fantastic. I'm glad he got a good role in a good movie. I really am. He deserves it. And of course, Viola Davis as Amanda Waller was terrifying in the best way possible. She was very good. I really liked her a lot. So as it comes to performances, I give it a 10 out of 10. I, I was not expecting to be so enthralled in the story. I was just thinking it was going to be more of an action story and uh, it being funny because I thought that was sort of DC's way of making up for, you know, their past movies not being funny and, and not being all that enticing, you know. But this movie, I was really into it. I was really into all these characters. Like I felt at every moment that any one of them could die, any one of them could get hurt and any one of them could do any single crazy thing because they are crazy. Well, not crazy, but you know, Psychotic, villainous, and, uh, you know, just unpredictable. And that was the best part of it. I, I, they kept me guessing about what were their motivations, whether they saw themselves as bad guys or as good guys, and I thought that was really fascinating. So it did a really good job, you know, keeping me in my seat, on the edge of my seat, actually. And a lot more than Man of Steel or than, than Batman v Superman. I do feel some aspects, especially the romantic aspects, could have been developed a little bit better. So on whether or not it is enticing, I give it an eight out of 10. The visuals are fantastic, just incredible. Every character looked great. And I was very, very, very preoccupied when it came to Killer Croc, because in the pictures, he looks weird. Um, he just, it, in the comics, he's really menacing. And he's really scary. And the, the pictures and the, the, the trailers, they don't really do him justice. He looks weird. He looks like a guy in makeup. But in the film, it works. The way they shot him and the way he interacts with the others, he's very menacing, he's very scary, and he looks really freaking cool. So the visuals, hands down, 10 out of 10. Now, I can't say I had really high expectations for this film, but I sort of did because I, was, I had really high expectations for Batman v Superman, and it let me down a lot. But this film, I, it sort of kept me guessing, you know, because I was very pumped for the actors, but then I, I heard something or I saw something and I was like, oh, I'm not sure what to feel. But I can safely say that most of my expectations were surpassed. It Like seriously, I was expecting another bomb, but I really think DC hit it out of the park. I really do. I was expecting more of this character that I really like, not just because of how he was portrayed in the movie, it's just an overall character I really liked. And in the you know promotional campaigns and the trailers and all that, it seemed that the movie would have a little bit more of this character, but it didn't. And um, that's really just one small issue I had with it. It in no way affects the story or the other characters in any way. He's not missed the time he's not on screen. So it works perfectly. Again, I think every character has the perfect amount of screen time in order to convey the story in the most efficient way possible. It is in no way an incomplete film. So did it meet my expectations? I give it a seven out of 10. Now, do I want more of this universe? Do I want more of these characters? Is this film rewatchable? I think it is. I think it really is. I cannot wait to see this film again because you know there are so many characters to focus on 
that your mind is sort of going all over the place, but it's a good, it's in a good way, you know, because you want more of each character. You want to see what each character is doing every scene that they're together in. So I definitely want to see it again. I am hoping a lot of people see it again because it's very rewatchable. It's very fun. And I really want more of this universe, not just because it's the Justice League universe, it's because of these characters specifically in this movie. So I'm hoping that uh, maybe like in the Batman solo film, we'll get some of these characters back because, well, they are Batman villains. And if we're going to see them somewhere else, it's probably going to be in that movie unless we get a Suicide Squad 2, which I think would be really cool. And if this movie does well, I, I really hope they do it. So on rewatchability, I will give it a 10 out of 10. I also wanted to add that the soundtrack is amazing. I really thought the music in the trailers was just there to make the movie seem more fun, but every song I heard in the trailers is actually in the movie and they work perfectly. They're not just there to, you know, be cool and stuff. It works perfectly with each character and they sort of use them as themes for, for each of the characters. So this brings our final score to 8.9 out of 10. And that means that this film is a great, film. I really think it is. It was very fun. It was moving. It was beautiful visually. The characters were great. The acting was amazing. I was I was pretty surprised by Jai Courtney. He's a little bit uncharismatic in other roles he does. But in this one, I really liked his Captain Boomerang. I think he was the character with which I laughed the most and I was not expecting that. So that was a very nice surprise. And I think I mentioned this before, but Cara Delevingne did a great job in this movie she really did she was a very fun and weird character so yeah that's my review for suicide squad by david ayer or ayer i'm not sure i think he's i think he's latino it's ayer i don't know so anyway um yeah leave your thoughts in the comment section below if you agree or disagree that's cool man just share it we'll discuss it i love talking to people about movies so just go ahead let me know what you think i have to say this before i end this video do not get swayed by the critics. Watch the movie, create your own opinions about it, and share your, your opinions with other people. See what they think. I'm pretty sure there are not gonna be a lot of reviews like the one I'm saying now. I try to be as objective as possible. That's why like, I divide my reviews into different aspects of the film so I can judge it just on that aspect and try to be as objective as possible even though subjectively, I love superhero movies. I love comic book movies. I really do my best to see the flaws. I do my best to be a good critic because I like talking about movies. And when I tell my friends, dude, you gotta go watch this movie, you know, I want them to trust me, you know? So that's all guys. Uh, remember to share your thoughts on the comment section. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. I'll, I'll be doing more of these videos. I'll be reviewing newer movies and uh, I think some old movies because a lot of people I know have not seen like classic films. So yeah, if you like this, thumbs up. If you don't, well, you know, thumbs down, I guess. My mom taught me that if you don't have nothing nice to say, just don't say anything. I guess I'll see you guys later. I hope you liked the video.